Hey, what's up guys? Grown the Hobby coming back to you guys with another baseball break. One that I've been sitting on here for a little bit of time because I occasionally check out uh, Walgreens as well as, uh, I want to say maybe Rite Aid? That was where I, but I think these are all from Walgreens over, you know, some different periods of time. Tough to find cards anywhere now. It's, it's you know, Walgreens and stuff like that's, you know, no different of a story. But I've kind of compiled these because there wasn't anything else in the stores. I don't have the highest of hopes, guys, but I'm going to show you what we're going to do today. So we got not one, but two of these baseball jumbo boxes. Picked these up. I, believe it or not, this was like $4.99 or even $3.99 for this. So, I mean, the price wasn't high. You know, it's something that's not exactly... Wow, I'm looking at like a lot of glue there, I just noticed. But uh, that's interesting. See, I don't know if you guys can see that. I did not even notice that the entire time while I had these. You see that glue is just like running over there. Somebody probably broke it open and resealed it again. Who the heck knows? But this is from the uh, Fairfield Company. And uh, like I said, the price point was okay with me. Uh, the deal with this, though, look for randomly inserted pa uh, cards, packs, parallels, autographs, and more. It's a baseball jumbo box. They don't really tell you much else of anything. They don't even give you card count in here, to be quite honest with you. Now, I've seen a couple videos of these broke open. Uh, on YouTube and they've been complete crap, which you know, <laughs> you got to expect it I've heard the stories of pulling like the Mike Trout out of you know, some of these kind of pharmacy boxes You know from a few years ago. I don't think we're gonna find anything like that in here But uh, who knows? I don't know. Maybe we'll find the diamond in the rough So we got two of those here today We're gonna do and then I also found one of these I was gonna save this for when I found a couple more But I just can't find these anymore. So I'm gonna throw it in this video here. I got one of these baseball prime packs uh, from the Fairfield Company also, you get one hobby pack, one pack, and one bonus card. So two packs and a bonus card are going to be in here. And quite honestly, you can cheat from the side window. You see we got 2019 uh, Series 1, and that's probably one of those leaf packs behind it is my guess. And then you got that random whatever card right behind there. Um, and, and, you know, the, the big gimmick is to look for randomly inserted high-end hobby packs. You can find that, but... And I, I know people that have found it, but the thing is, like I said, you got that window on the side. If you know anything about baseball packs or collecting, it's pretty easy to pick out the uh, the high end packs that are inserted and just you know buy them for yourself. But uh, yeah, snatch this up anyway. Even though I don't expect much of anything in here, I think this was like seven ninety nine or eight ninety nine. So I don't know. We're less than twenty dollars total for sure for these three boxes, and uh, I don't really have any high hopes. But I just figured let's bust it open and see what we can get. I'm gonna start with these uh, baseball jumbo boxes. I think. Because I think I have the least hope for this stuff. I have more hope for the uh, the baseball prime packs. And oh my, Lana, that's some serious glue on there. Um, let's try it from the bottom. I think I remember seeing somebody having a hard time opening this, and they did from the bar bottom. So maybe that's the the trick to this. I swear, I, I'm probably dead wrong, but I swear, you know, from this point of view, that looks like ninety. There's no way that looks like a '93 top series one, which would have the Jeter rookie in that year, but. There's no way that's the pack. Uh, pull this pile out. I'm going to set that pack right here. Let's see. That's, nah, of course, not. I did not think it is. It's 88 Fleer. So we'll do that here at the end. We'll run through these. They're going to be every which way in here, and they're just they're mostly going to be crap. I mean, if I miss something flying through this, you know, let me know. But uh, we start with an 86 Mike Heath, I see. And like I said, I'm not going to flip most of these around. I'm just not. It's just too much to to get through. I mean, I, I flip some of them around, but I don't want to flip them all around. The 87 tops there. There's a cool looking rock solid foundation card for the Rockies. It's actually a really nice looking picture there. It reminds me of something like, uh, you know, that you'd find with a stadium club. Andre Skalraga there, I'd say, is the big star there in that one. But, uh, yeah, there you go. All right. Major League debut card, at least. I mean, that's kind of cool looking there. Wow, look how crisp and fresh that is look at the cow ring on that that's wild all right checklist uh, let's see john burkett jeff ballard man they're just all over the place all over the place finest that's interesting what the, what the heck is this tops finest protect repeal and remove coating wow you know i've honestly never opened tops finest uh in the day so, you know, I don't know how common that is to have those on there for that Dean Palmer. That's really interesting. I ain't going to lie. That's, hmm, pretty interesting. From 96 Finest. 
I have to look more into that. I mean, I just don't remember having that all on there. Did all those cards have that on there, or is that some kind of crazy insert that I'm just missing out on? Huh. I'll set that in the good pile, though, for right now. I'm going to have to look more into that. I'm not as familiar, like I said, with the finest from back in the day, for sure. Present day finest, yes. Back in the day, no. Not at all. I'll be the first to admit that. Wow, look at that card. Hideki Arabu. Picture for the Yankees. It was a promo card from Sports Weekly, 1997. Wow, look at that. Tamed by George Steinbrenner from the Padres and paid over $14 million. Wow, for him. Holy heck. Interesting. And you can just see you got stuff all over the place. you got a member's choice there of David Justice. The interesting one. From Stadium Club. Sorry for that focus, guys, but it's kind of cool. Dougie Drayback, heck yeah, for my buckas. Remember him back in the day. All right, Bob Stanley, 87. Greg Harris. Andy Van Slyke, he was one of my faves as a kid growing up. There's some iconic right there. It looks like some 2011 action right there, that Felix Pie. And it's 2011, that's going to be Series 1. Kurt Suzuki. Bobby Crosby. And Hunter Pence. Early in his career, Hunter Pence card there. I'll show you guys the back of that. You can see his stats, how it's early in the career there from 2010. Not bad. Another 2011. And nothing really there. Let's get this bottom half of the stack. I don't want this to drag on too long. I'm also trying to make sure that I don't fly by maybe. You know, I got the one single box that they actually put a really big hit in. If you guys, any of you, have opened this up, please let me know. There's a nice 98 tops, all tops outfielders. Manny Ramirez, Barry Bonds, and Larry Walker. That's a nice looking card right there. I'll put that in the good paw. Um, but yeah, if you've ever opened this before or any of these, let me know if you got any decent hits out of it. Because I'd be really curious to know, you know, what you uh, what you may have pulled out of this. I've only seen a couple of these open, and they weren't very good. I think I'm actually doing better than any of the ones I've seen open at this point. Mm -hmm. William McGee. Draft pick card there of Bill Bean, Bill Billy Bean. And what do we have here? Derek Bell, holy smokes. Remember him when the Pirates had him back in the day and he was refusing to play, busy sailing his sailboat around the Gulf of Mexico. Whole not. <laughs> he did not make a lot of fans happy when he was coming here. Man, you can barely see that ultra there. It's 94 Fleer Ultra. But there you go. Bobby Gibson, 86 right there. Getting down to the end of this. Nice Tony Gwynn, 87. That's pretty good. Mike Messina, 400 flashback. All right. You know what? I'm going to do this pack right now. 1988, why not? Let's just do it. Then I'll do that other box. I was going to save all the packs and just do them all at the end, but let's just do it as we go, I guess. All right. Fenway Park card right off the bat. That's interesting there. I don't think I've ever actually seen one of those. A little bit of stats on the park. That's pretty cool. I like that. Ozzy Smith. Pascal Perez, Bob James, Mickey Hatcher, Juan Castillo. Hey, Nolan Ryan, that's nice. Very nice. Set that in a good pile there. All right. So, not too bad. I'm going to do a recap at the end of this instead of each box and stuff. So, let's do the other one here real quick. Then we'll do that prime pack. Maybe pick up the pace a little bit, maybe through these ones here. Looks like we got that same uh, 88 Fleer in here. That's what that looks like to me, at least. Uh, yeah, 88 Fleer. All right. Let's see what we have here. So let's set that aside. All right. Let's grab half of this stack. Let's see what we can get in here. Al Jones. This one's definitely not as good as the first one. All right, a couple of Junior Ortiz cards, though, for the Buckos there. 
But uh, the other pack had a better start, I'd say for sure. And we're gonna flip some of these around. Looks like maybe these. They go every which way. I mean, you can tell these are just leftover cards. They probably bought people's collections and then just you know stuck them into a box. But you know, you would hope that they're being honest and they do. You know, some. It's interesting that I felt that different card stock there. That's why I kind of stopped. So this uh, Jose Vidro for the expo is there. It's a Fleer Genuine. I've actually never opened any of this. It's a very thick card stock. Kind of rough on the, the surface and stuff. And that, uh, for anybody that's wondering, that's 2001. But it's just a little different of a card there. I had to pause on that. Nice Jeff King. Luis Rivera. Carlos Hernandez. Jeff King again. Buddy Bell. Checklist from 86. And nothing really crazy doing so far. But yeah, you'd hope that. Oh, yeah, there we go. Heck yeah. Look at that. A Mark Grace Raid rookie card from 88 Donruss. Nice for the Cubbies there. I, I like Mark Grace a heck of a lot back in the day. That's a nice card. But yeah, you would hope that they'd be honest here and that they're, you know, putting in some decent hits, you know, for uh, at least some of these. And, you know, you're, they're not going to be the best, I'm sure, but. Uh, You'd hope that they're honest enough that they give you some hits. There's a Uribe. All right, bottom half of this stack. Oh, nice Cal Ripken in the 87, I'll take it. Nowhere near his rookie, but still Cal Ripken. I'll take that all day long. Oh, let's see. Hey, that's what I thought that was, A-Rod, look at that. A-Rod. Tops uh, was that 99, right? Yeah, 99 tops. A rod, that's a cool one. Nice star card there. Set that aside. Neil Heaton, definitely remember him as well. Richie Sexton, couldn't read the name. There's one of those finest cards again, finest phenoms this time. Jason Jombie, and it does have that same kind of stuff going on there to uh, protector, peel and remove coating. Yeah, so I'm going to guess that's what all these were like. You know, I'm not 100%, but uh, that's my hunch now. I'm feeling a little bit less special, seeing that that's on maybe all of these. Oh, we know him. Same exact card. Gary Gaetti. Blast from the past. Stadium Club Bear. Man, oh, man. Joiner. Oh man, these is just. You can tell these are definitely just from somebody's collection. I, I I don't even know if they sorted these. To be honest, I feel like they just were like, okay, thanks for the collection. They stuck them right in boxes and out the door. Houston Street. Down to our last couple here. Connor Jackson. And get dizzy trying to flip these around. And, yeah, nothing really crazy going on there. I mean, at least it's a labeled rookie. It's a Brandon Allen, though. But uh, there you go in the 2010. Or, yeah, 2010. All right, let's do our 88 Fleer pack real quick. We'll get into that Baseball Prime pack, and then I'll just kind of, I don't know, I'll show you the cards uh, for a recap at the end here, I guess, of the ones that I kind of set aside. There's a nice Yankee Stadium one there, if you're interested in the stats and whatnot. That's pretty cool. All right, let's see. We have nice Steve Sachs. That's pretty cool. You guys can see the backs of one of those. Like I said, I didn't show you any of those to this point. Nice Bill Ripken. You guys know what uh, he's famous for. Going to be a different thing than, than the uh, number three on the bottom of that baseball bat. Look to 89 uh, Fleer for that answer. But, yeah, that's all I can think of every time I see him. That's pretty cool. And Kevin Mitchell. Nothing really crazy there. Actually, the Bill Ripken's probably my favorite card out of that pack, to be honest. All right, baseball prime pack. One hobby pack, one pack, and a bonus card. So 2019 Top Series 1, we know we got that. The hobby pack, I'm betting, is might even be a Lou Gehrig Leaf pack or something like that, or Babe Ruth. I can't remember those ones, but probably not much of anything. Uh, all right, so that's what we got going on in there. Let's just see what our card is. It's an Anthony K. 
I mean, I'm actually surprised it's a Bowman Chrome card, to be honest. It's nothing crazy or great, but it's Anthony K. Bowman Chrome Prospect card. So there you go from 2019. I'll set that there. And there's our 2019 Series 1 that we knew we had. That's a retail pack, so this is our hobby pack, and it is... Wow, actually, surprised me. Look at that. 2014 Elite Extra Edition. I'll actually take that. That's that's not bad. That's much better than I thought it was going to be, so that's pretty sweet. We'll do that here momentarily. 2019 Series 1. Let's see what we can get in here. Ramon Laureano. Uh, Kyle Tucker. To name a couple. Jeff McNeil. All right, Mr. Smile. Frankie Lindor. Trevor Bauer. Steven Duggar, rookie. Tukey Dusant, rookie. Sean Reed Foley, rookie. Athletics team card. We go. I think we got a rainbow foil. It looks like right behind this 150 great years. That's interesting. President of the United States. I've actually not pulled that card before. William Howard Taft. That's pretty cool. It's actually a really neat card. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right. And that's, uh, it's not a rainbow foil. It's actually stars of the game. Eric Hosmer. Christian Yelich. That almost looks like a photo variation, does it not? I doubt that it is. Salvi Perez. Let's check that real quick with the Salvi Perez. Oh my gosh, it is a variation. Look at that, guys. All right, get that focus. So the Salvi Perez is the top card there, and you see it's 1910. And we got that ending in 1967. Is that Christian Yelich? So how about that? We got a short print, guys. I don't know if that's an SSP. I think it's just a regular SP photo variation. You guys can see even Cal Franco ends in 1910. So I'll be darned. We got a variation. I'll take that all day long. That's a nice pull. All right, Blake Snell. League Leaders card, Lewis Brinson, Michael Givens. We flip around for Jake DeGrom and Stephen Piscotti. Not a bad pack there. Not a bad pack at all. All right, last pack. The one I was actually most excited about and surprised by. 2014 Elite Extra Edition. Maybe we can get an auto. Five cards are going to be in here. It's a hobby pack. There's definitely the uh, chance for an auto in this. Let's see what we can get in here. Let's hope for something big. And we got some die cut action. It could be an auto. All right, so Nelson Gomez starts us off. Brandon uh, LeBrant. I'm going to pull from the back. Trace Lower. Lower. Jeff Brigham. We got that's the, uh, the decoy. And in front of it, let's see if it's an auto. This die cut. It is out of 150. It's going to be number, what is that, 83? It looks like 83 of 150. Prospect. Nope. Alex Blandino. Status. Still, you know, we got a numbered, numbered hit out of there. You know, it's much better than I actually thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be one of those Babe Ruth or, you know, almost Honest bonus packs or whatever. So, not bad, guys. Uh, there was that. Really very quick recap. That nice Christian Yelich photo variation. It was really nice. And then out of all the cards that we got out of those, uh, those baseball jumbo packs that they're called from Fairfield Company, Show you guys the ones I set aside here very quickly. It's only a few, because let's be honest, most of them are not much. Look at that A rod that we set aside. It looks pretty cool. The Nolan Ryan, old school there. I like that uh, 98 All Tops outfielders there with Barry Bonds, Manny Ramirez, and Larry Walker. Look at that Members Choice card of David Justice from Stadium Club there. Mark Grace, rated rookie from 88 Donruss. The 87 Kyle Ripken. And then we got a couple of these finest. Uh, I don't know what they really call these finest ones here, but we've got finest phenomes, finest gamers. We've got Dean Palmer and Jason Giambi, and they both have that kind of, you know, you can remove this protector and whatnot and stuff like that. Uh, so pretty cool, pretty cool. You know, actually a better break than I thought it was going to be, guys. Please do me a favor, like, subscribe, share, click that bell notification button to be notified of future videos. Lots more of them coming to you guys. As always, in the description below, you guys can find my email address, mailing address and Instagram handle. Other than that, have a great day, a great night wherever you are at, and we will see you next time.